Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So it's pretty interesting to read through some of the articles talking about whether or not the Federal Reserve is going to continue the lifting of interest rates or if they are going to take a more dovish stance. Dovish meaning that they are going to go back into like a stimulative like monetary policy where they go into like quantitative easing or the lowering of interest rates. I don't see that taking place. I see the Federal Reserve not only maintaining high interest rates, but may even continue to raise interest rates going into the future. I would not be surprised to see another three quarter percentage point of an increase to the Fed funds level, taking it up to that three percent, three and a quarter percent. That would not surprise me at all. The Federal Reserve is looking to slow the economy down. They are saying that the price inflation is too damaging, that it is far too high, and that they are going to pretty much slow the consumer down by the lifting of interest rates, making it more difficult to take out loans or make payments on loans. And so the idea of people being able to borrow money to stimulate the economy, that's not what the Federal Reserve wants. The Federal Reserve actually wants the opposite of that. They don't want them taking out loans and they don't want them stimulating the economy. They actually want them to not spend money. And now you think about it, if you are an entrepreneur, a retailer out there, this is not exactly the environment that you want to be in. I mean, you want to be in an environment where people are wanting to be a consumer or they want the consumer out there spending money. And that's what the Federal Reserve is asking not to happen or trying to prevent from happening. So retailers out there are going to get smashed hard because of this. I mean, they're going to get very damaged. And you can already see it taking place. I mean, you know, we reported on Peloton a long time ago talking about how they kind of screwed up during the pandemic and they put all their money into logistics and production trying to figure out how it is that they were going to provide all this exercise equipment to a high demand consumer out there who was being locked down. Well, that was only during the lockdown that people actually wanted these stationary bikes or exercise equipment. They didn't actually want this stuff, but they did when they were locked down. But now that they're not locked down anymore, they really want the experiences and not the equipment that they have. So, or the equipment that they would spend their money on, they would rather spend their money on experiences. I guess that's the way I should say it. So companies like Peloton are gonna suffer dramatically because of this. And you can see it, you know, with the, like I said, with the retailers like Target and Walmart talking about the oversupply that they have, this a glut of inventory and the lack of available like labor out there to distribute this stuff through the system. And this is something that I find very interesting to think about because when you go and you look at some of the trucking articles that are, that some of the trucking articles there are out there, you're gonna find where trucking the truckers out there, the trucking companies are suffering big time right now. Um, I'm going to leave links down in the description to three different articles. One of them is talking about the um, the used truck market. Right, This is something that's a pretty good indicator is starting to slow down. Um, the prices are coming down, which is something to think about. Like if you are in a high demand area where the distribution is limited because of the lack of trucking, then those used trucks, the price of them, you would think would continue to rise, but they're not, they're going the other way. So that's, that's a sign that there is not as much need for trucks out there or trucking, which I know is still like, you know, a lot of that is in short supply in many industries. And I mean, I, I know, cause I'm dealing with it right now as far as the unavailability of some, some trucking but it's becoming less of an issue. It's still an issue, but less of an issue. That's the indicator you have to look for, right? It's not like it's completely better or something like that or gone away. It's still a major problem, but it's but the problem is starting to ease. And that's one of the signs right there is in the used truck market. The other signs are layoffs. And now within these trucking companies themselves, you're starting to find where a lot of them are laying off their corporate management or even some of their staffing or shutting down completely. And now there's three articles I'm gonna leave down in the description that talk about all those things. So now trucking is a major indicator of what's going on in the economy. I mean, anything that you have ever bought, bore, you eat, I mean, anything, that is sitting in a store at one time was shipped by a truck. I mean, there's like no way to avoid that. 
And so when you look at like the trucking industry, you're going to see signs of whether or not you have a healthy economy. And with as much damage as being take or as much damage as taken place to the trucking industry right now, and if you like I said, just according to some of these articles, you can see that the distribution network is obviously in some serious crisis situation considering that these trucking companies are going out of business. So that's another indicator to keep your eye on. As far as going into the future, what I see happening is that the consumer is going to continue to slow down. I mean, I'm experiencing some of that myself working retail lumber and at a hardware store, I can tell that the retail consumer is not nearly as prevalent as they were even a year ago. I mean, it's the middle of summer right now and we should be rocking and rolling with a an intense amount of business coming through the store. And don't get me wrong, it's pretty good right now, but it's not what it could be. Not like what it was in the past. Other summers, it has been much more busier than it is this this particular year but we're in a unique situation. So the retail consumer is really holding back right now. And I can only imagine that's going to continue to con be the case going into the future, especially if the Federal Reserve is going to continue on with that lifting of interest rates, which it really does seem to me that that's what's gonna be the case. Now, there are people out there who think the complete opposite of that. They think that the Federal Reserve is going to be in a pivoting position soon where they will stop lifting the interest rates. But to me, that's not a pivot. That is just a mere stopping of lifting of interest rates as if they just started standing still. But a lot of people will think of that as a complete reversal to the monetary tightening. But in my opinion, that's just not the case. So we still have not come to that situation in which the Federal Reserve has stopped lifting of interest rates or even come to that pivoting position. They are very much still in a tightening position with the continuing lifting of the Fed funds rate and the unwinding of the balance sheet. And that's really where I feel that the consumer is going to continue to feel that pain where they will not be as likely to go out there and spend that money as long as the Federal Reserve continues on with that stance, right? Or at least even the idea of the Federal Reserve continuing on with that. I mean, they don't really necessarily have to lift the Fed funds rate or even unwind the balance sheet, but if they can convince the markets that they are going to, it will have the same effect as if they had done it. So this is really where the Federal Reserve, I know, is still using their forward guidance to try and, you know, manipulate the markets. I mean, for the lack of a better term, that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to get the markets to behave in a certain fashion prior to the Federal Reserve actually conducting their monetary policy to try and avoid that shock and awe event of like all of a sudden the market's going, oh crap, look what the Fed just did. So the Federal Reserve is trying to put that forward guidance out there, even though they say they're not using forward guidance, just listen to the Fed governors. Almost every single one of them is talking about the lifting of interest rates. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen, but the markets may are probably going to end up believing that. Um, at least, in my opinion, that's what they're going to end up believing in the end. Uh, you can kind of see it happening with the Fed, with the you know with the market downturn. To even today, I think it was down like five six hundred points on the Dow before I started this video. So you can tell the markets are not not very pleased with the whole idea of the Federal Reserve and their monetary policies. They are going to continue to tighten, and I feel that's what the markets believe as well. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.